Welcome this week to Hutton County District Library's um, video that has to do with an online learning platform called Coursera. Last week we looked at, looked at Allison. This is just another um, availability that is out there where it's online learning platform that you can actually get um, offers and offers courses, you can get some degrees and other um, learning opportunities from universities and different companies. So I'm just going to briefly walk through, just like with Allison, again, um, there's the ability to learn here for free, but there's always the option to um, have more specialized um, learning that obviously you would pay for. So I am going to first of all show you, if you go to the web um, site Coursera, you will then be directed here to this page where you can either log in if you already have an account or join for free. So if you go here to the join for free, what you can do is sign up with your name or if you have any of these accounts, be it a Google, Facebook, or Apple account, you can simply log in with those um, accounts as well. After you do that, you're going to see Coursera.org come up. And like I said, um, there are the opportunities for free. And you'll notice here what you see is the little free icon beside them. What you are seeing here is I purposely had went in, started uh, started some learning, and I did this so that you could see how it's going to show me my progress bar here. It's going to tell me where I'm at in the course and my reading, how approximately how long it will take. The um, average commitment it says for most of these courses is anywhere from four to twelve hours so what you'll see then below there are any other re recently viewed products that i have looked at as well as what is um, most popular and you'll see um, these are certificates again and i can click here obviously and say show more when you go to these, let's just say, for example, I clicked on the Google Analytics Data Analytics uh, course. What you'll have here is you can enroll for free, tells you when it would start, which I'm currently doing it, um, this video on the 24th. So it's telling me I could start. I can try it for free. This is one that just simply has a free trial. So again, I would be able to um, do some of the learning and then at some point I would have to pay money. I'm going to go back here again to my um, beginning page. So I'm simply going to click here on the word Coursera. So it takes me back here. What I'd like to do is I'm going to um, click on one of these again here that says free. So I'm going to go on creative thinking techniques, tools for success. And when I click on that, it, the information I want you to see is it's telling me how many modules it's going to give me the, the review information and so forth. I'm going to click on go to the course. So I'm already enrolled in this course you can see it says and if I go go to the course it's going to take me to where my course material is at. I had previously looked at the course material, so I am here at week one, and I would simply go to the point where I would say resume, and when I'm doing this, what it's then, it's starting me in the course and it's asking me to res respond here. So I'm putting in my information and in answer to a, sh a short message to my classmates that are part of the course. If I want to go all the way back here, I simply could go back and again, here is my welcome to the course. Notice I've got my green check mark, so I've already completed these. I'm just going to go back here for a minute so you can see. So what happens here is I'm at welcome to the course. It's going through giving me the information. It is telling me it's already checked. I completed this. Again, if I go go to the next, again, I'm going to see the same thing. Here's my structure and my syllabus and so forth with the course. And I will just continue here because obviously I've already done these. It's always going to tell me what my assessments, 
how, how I'm graded, and so forth. I'm going to go all the way back one more time here to Coursera so that you see exactly what, again, what we see with the course. And just keep in mind and remember, they have the personalized uh, spe specializations for you based upon the information that you provide, kind of like, you know, what you um, maybe do or for a living or what your skills are. And I can just scroll all the way down here and notice I'm seeing these as well as I see this out to the side. This is a free course that I could take. So any of those, these is what I could. Now keep in mind, sometimes when you do, you can only go so far in the course. I'm going to click here on how to create a video for online courses. When I click on that, again, I'm going to see this. And it's telling me, here's another one. Well, financial aid is available. Well, so it's enroll for free. And I'll just go ahead and click here. But notice what happens. I can purchase the course for $49, or I can just take the full course and, get, and receive no certificate. So you have access to all the course materials. You learn as you're going through the course. You're just simply not going to have the certificate. So if you have any... Um, any, my suggestion always is you have anything that you'd like to maybe learn about, go on and check this out. Check on Coursera or, as we talked about last week, check on Allison and see if there might be something available that you could simply get some free learning that's available online. Hope everyone has a fantastic week, and I hope that you find that um, some of this information is helpful and that maybe you can learn an, a new skill. Take care.